it's falling off the thing. Okay, are we are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. So Dad, you're gonna we're gonna start right here, so you start. Mm -hmm. Well why is that all up or going to No, by oh. I didn't explain what the arrow was meant. Okay. Here she comes. You should be a <laughs> into center stage, mail in her hand. Darby <laughs> Crash comes to greet her. She, put, she pets him and pretends to sort mail, but, but it's obvious she's going to cry. Mom smiling and watches Amy. Dad is reading a newspaper, but he's watching Amy out of the corner of his eye. So I say, hi. 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 <laughs> Dad watches Amy with excitement, barely able to contain himself. Amy hands mom a piece of mail. Here. Bewitch. Amy tries to act normal, but she's starting to fall apart. Dad can no longer contain himself. He begins to smirk. So you got to you're so you're gonna be thirty six in a couple of weeks. Maybe we could bake you a cake with a hacksaw in it. Okay. Amy bursts into tears. What did the cops want? Okay, Amy sits down bawling. Darby Crass sits in front of her chair and places a paw on her knee. Hi. You're making Darby Crash sad. <laughs> <laughs> Andre and Larry called the cops on me. They told them both they told them a bunch of lies. They said I chased Andrea and barked like a dog. <laughs> What kind of a dog? <laughs> I can't believe Larry would lie about me. That's not all. The cop asked if I was related to Randy Newman, and when I said yes, he said, that explains a lot. What? He said mm -hmm. that? <laughs> I'm just a freak, aren't I? Everybody knows it. Larry, <laughs> Larry told me he was going to leave Andrea for me, but he won't because I'm a freak. I wouldn't take any of this too seriously if I was you. Consider the source, an obvious, obviously disturbed couple and a cop. I wouldn't worry too much about your reputation. He chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> as far as Randy goes, and when Randy was 35, he had already served a amount of prison time. Besides that, Randy's family are completely nuts. <laughs> he, was, he was just too high strung to be really be functional in a straight society. I was the same way when I was young, but I grew out of it. No, you're not going to be crazy. It would have happened by now. There's a statute of limitations on <laughs> Randy's my biological father, and he's been in prison for harassing his significant others. Now I get the cops called on me. He says Larry and Andrea are going to get a restraining order against me if I don't leave them alone. There's obviously some connection of insanity. But what they said wasn't true. It might as well be true. <sighs> Darby looks from one to the other. Then he lays down at Amy's feet. Okay, back to Larry and Andrea. So what actually happened? So Andrea came into the radio station today. Something to do with a secret with a soccer benefit at the bar next door. It's convenient that I text Larry and I that I got my own radio show and with a couple within a couple of days Andrea shows up at the studio. You texted Larry. Andrea nods her head and answer. As she was leaving, I told her I was going to marry Larry. It was just a joke. I even laughed when I said it. The others were also standing right there, so obviously I didn't say anything bad. She said, I didn't know you could just put dibs on someone like that. I told her, well, you did with Amy, Emily. Emily's her girlfriend that she cheats on Larry with. She got pissed when I said that and left in a huff. I felt guilty afterward, so I called Mom to confess. <laughs> yeah, she did call. You get convicted pretty easily. 
A few minutes after that, the cops show up. I can't believe Larry would lie about me like that. He knows me. I told him everything I've said to Andrea. He also knows that I've never hurt anyone. Besides that, he told me he felt like Andrea wasn't even his partner anymore, and he would get a divorce eventually. Do you remember when you were little, 